AITA for yelling at my nephews until they cried and had to leave? My son recently died. I have not moved his stuff other than keeping it clean. I usually leave the door to his room closed. I pick up and babysit my two nephews for around an hour on weekdays. Since their mom, my sister-in-law, gets off work too late to pick them up. They are 11 and 13. Usually they are well behaved and do their own thing or even sometimes help me with chores. On Friday I was cooking a very pungent soup so I aired the whole house out by opening all the windows and doors. I should have left my son's room closed in hindsight. But I think I opened it out of habit. When their mom went to pick up her kids, I went to get them and saw them messing around with my son's guitar. The older one was messing with the string screws while the younger one was plucking at the strings. I admittedly freaked out a lot and I raised my voice at them. Which I have never done. I said, what are you doing? Drop that right now. What are you even doing in his room? Get out. Never come in this room again. At that point they started crying. I pulled the guitar away. And their mother came in. She tried to mediate the situation and console them. But I told them all to get out of my house and they left. The guitar was thankfully okay and not scratched. Their mom called me later to talk and apologized on their behalf. But told me that she thinks that we should all have a sit down and apologize to each other. She told me that I really scared her boys. And that although she thinks what I did was understandable. I overreacted in front of them. She told me that at the end of the day, they didn't really do anything harmful and that they deserve an apology from me too. I told her I do think that I overreacted but that I wasn't sorry because they could have broke my son's guitar. She told me that it's extremely cruel to ever raise your voice at children and that I should be the bigger person. Was I the asshole for doing that? Nah. Your response was understandable. To an adult, not a kid. It sounds like your sill is really trying to mediate this and support you. I think you kind of would be ta if you refused to just sit down and explain to the boys why you yelled and why you'd rather they didn't go in your son's room. Nobody is the ah here. You're all grieving. You lost your son. My condolences. And they lost their uncle. They're just kids. Syl is keeping a level head here. She gave you an olive branch. Being a kid is difficult and they didn't intend to hurt you. She expects her sons to apologize to you. And it would be courteous if you apologized too and explain why you reacted the way you did. Info. Did your nephews know the room was off limits, regardless of whether the door was closed? NTA for reacting as you did in the heat of the moment. But it doesn't sound like your nephews meant any harm or had had it properly explained to them why. Your son's room was off limits. Your SIL's advice seems good to me. Sit down with your nephews and explain why you reacted as you did. And you're sorry you shouted at them. And in future even if the door of that room is open they are not ever to go in without explicit and specific permission from you. Have they been told to stay out of that bedroom up till now? Your nephews were old enough to know to ask to touch the guitar. They are also old enough not to break it by simply touching it. This was something that belonged to their cousin. Maybe this was their way of feeling close to him. How hard did you shout at them to make them cry though? I wouldn't have though kids of that age would have reacted that way from a simple telling off. I'm so sorry for your loss. I don't believe your nephews meant any harm. But it seems like they weren't properly informed about your boundaries. Your SIL's advice on this sounds very level-headed and I think you should take it. Allow the boys to apologize to you. Apologize to them and calmly explain why it's important to you that nobody goes in that room. If you don't think it's something you can handle at the moment, ask Syl to talk to them for you. It may seem obvious that they shouldn't go in there but they're kids. 
They may not catch on what's appropriate in that regard if nobody tells them. Nah. NTA for yelling and reacting as you did but you really should have a conversation with your nephews. It doesn't have to be to apologize, but rather explain to them why you reacted the way you did. I'm sure if you explained how you felt in that moment and explained why you reacted that way it would clear the air and make everyone feel better about the situation. I'm so sorry for your loss. YTA. I lost a child myself and I know that this is an incredibly dark time in your life. I am so sorry for your loss. You have joined what I call the worst club in the world, the club of parents who have lost a child. It's a bigger club than you may realize. Of course you were triggered when someone touched one of the few things you have left from your son. That's very human. However, hard as this is, YOU are responsible for your own triggers. YOU are responsible for making sure your grief doesn't turn into abuse of others. YOU are responsible for clearly communicating your boundaries around your late son's possessions. YOU are responsible for getting therapy support and anti-anxiety or antidepressant drugs to help you regulate yourself. YOU are responsible for finding a way to make a meaningful life going forward. Apologize to those kids and get yourself the help you need. You would be if you didn't sit down with them. How were they to know? It's their cousin's guitar. Maybe they thought the door being opened meant the room was no longer off limits. They're grieving too. Sister is right there was no need to shout but it's understandable that you did but you need to be kind to the boys and apologize and explain. How else will they learn your boundaries or to respect you? Had it been the other way round you'd expect an apology for shouting even if it's in the moment and understandable. Soft YTA. Your sister is spot on. If you don't sit down with them, the lesson they learn will probably be that adults don't need to apologize when they overreact and that one's own grief is an excuse to be overly hard on others. I am very sorry that you lost your son and wish you all the best. YTA if you don't follow your SIL's advice and sit down to talk it out with the kids. They sound like good kids who overstepped because they didn't understand the way you feel about your son's possessions. Your sill is being very kind about this. And I think her idea of a mutual apology is a good one. Nah I am so sorry about the loss of your son. Grief is a tricky thing. You haven't told us how old he was when you lost him. Or how long it's been. But it's clear you are still actively grieving him. I commend you for the help you're providing your sill with her boys. I think SIL's suggestion is a good one. It gives the boys a chance to apologize for crossing the boundaries. And it gives you a chance to talk to them about your son. All you need to do at that point is tell them, I'm sorry for yelling at you and scaring you. My son's room is very special. And I was worried you were going to scratch his guitar. I know I sounded scary. But I don't like people going in there. I promise not to yell like that again. I admittedly freaked out, YTA understandably so in this situation but your understandable emotions. Don't justify your behavior even if they help explain it. First, I'm sorry for your loss. But I think YTA. Not for the yelling but for refusing to sit down with your nephews and apologize to them for yelling at them for something they didn't know they weren't allowed to do. YTA. Lock the room. And stop babysitting. You are not ready for that. Your son recently died. Use the time for therapy instead. YTA. Your nephews didn't hurt anything and you seriously freaked them out. Sympathy for your loss. But you were the AH here. You owe them an explanation and an apology. YTA you did overreact. Your sill is correct you do need to have a sit down and talk to them explain your reaction. 
I don't know how well they knew your son and how close they were to him, but maybe that plays a part in it. YTA. It's okay to hurt so badly that you lose control. It okay to yell. But when it comes to children, you need to apologize. You know that already. I think you can write the apology in a note or bake them their favorite cookies. If it's too hard to say it out loud in your grief. YTA. You're handling your grief poorly. You're doing everything you can to hold on to your son. No one can mention him in your presence. No one can touch an object he had. His room must be kept intact. Now you have a tantrum at your young nephews because they touched your son's guitar? I assume they knew your son. They were cousins. Maybe your nephews have been grieving themselves. Maybe it was nice for them to get a chance to touch your son's guitar and remember him. But you robbed them of that. You robbed yourself the chance to talk with your nephews about your son and remember some fond times. Get help. Your grief is poisoning you. And those around you. Your son wouldn't want it for you. Nah. Really sorry for your loss. It must be impossibly stressful for you right now. I think the kids themselves will understand as well. Maybe not right now. But they will. I think the plan to sit down and apologize to each other is a good one. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.